Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video response to a couple of good videos from John Heiss over at iBuildIt.ca. John made a compact compass out of wood, and just recently he redid the project out of aluminum. Both are very useful, but it depends on what material you have in your shop. I saw this and thought of how useful this tool is, and that I should make one on the 3D printer. For the design of this tool, I got a copy of John's free plans, which I'll link to below. To recreate this infusion, you only need this one illustration on his plans. Save it as a file and import it to a sketch. From there, I was able to duplicate it into the two pieces needed. This close-up shows the pencil I will use to create a precision opening in the compass. I'm hoping this shape will keep the lead from touching the edge and breaking. The profile was used to make a sketch and then revolved. The countersunk hole goes in the lower portion of the compass. The pivot point is a finishing nail that I sharpened on a grinder and then bent in a vise. The length of the nail will sit in a slot on the upper leg. Later, a soldering iron will be used to melt plastic over the nail, locking it in place. Here's a couple of shots of the layout. I like to do my groupings for multiple parts this way. Here are the plastic parts fresh from the 3D printer. The upper leg, the lower leg, and the finger cup. First we need to clean the edges on some sandpaper to remove what's left of the brim. The parts are now ready for assembly. Sometimes the parts don't come out as you like. You can always recreate the part to perfection, but often all that is needed is a small amount of trimming. Here the countersunk hole is not large enough. The screw head needs to be flush and a few passes with the drill press fixes this. At this point, the pivot needs to be set. I'll do this by heating the plastic with a soldering tip. This is quick, easy, and locks the nail in place. The hardware needed is a screw, a wing nut, and a washer. Make sure everything fits and tightening the nut should lock the compass until you need to change it again. This was a very easy build, so I'm not going to upload my files. Instead, I encourage you to go to John's page and get the plans there. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you'd like to see more.